Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys this week's Collective Kicks Weekly Recap. Uh, this is where I recap all of the week's uh, sneaker stories uh, from my website, CollectiveKicks.com. And if you guys want to check out the website, check out the link in the description. Always appreciate those that stop by the site and uh, check out the uh, progress through the week. Let's go ahead and jump in. There's a lot of sneaker news, a lot of 2015 related sneaker news, which I think is great. It's getting the midpoint of this year where they're going to start seeing, we're going to start seeing things um, kind of unveiled for next year, probably leaked, I guess is the better word, because Nike and Jordan brand doesn't officially leak the information. It just ends up getting leaked, and it's a good thing and a bad thing for the company, depending on uh, what ends up happening. Mostly, it's all positive because any any news is good news, right? Um, anyway, let's go ahead and, and look here. We have the, some Nike Kobe EM um, or Nike Kobe Nine EMs uh, in the Independence Day or USA colorway. Uh, there's a lot of USA themed sneakers coming up here, Fourth of July around the corner. Uh, we're seeing some uh, Air Maxes and some just just a whole bunch of random stuff. Obviously, we saw the Stars um, Dunks uh, from SB and the pe uh, Shooting Star Penny Pack, although that's not Independence Day, but there's Stars on it in blue and white. Um, anyway, these things are kind of crazy. June 28th is a rumored uh, release date on those. And then following that weekend, uh, we have the LeBron 11 Independence Days is what they're being dubbed. Call them Fourth of July Independence Day. Um, USA, uh, whatever you want to end up calling them, they're kind of USA themed sneakers. So uh, it's nice to see Nike capitalizing on uh, the patriotism uh, out there, I guess. And uh, I actually like the LeBrons quite a bit. The gum soles are uh, a plus. I always love gum, gum sole on sneakers. And it's kind of a weird fit on those sneakers. I think that maybe like a translucent red would have been kind of dope on those. But regardless, um, they look nice. It's just, it's unfortunate because there's. We've seen over 15 colorways of the LeBron 11s, and it's just, even for myself, a massive a LeBron 11 collector, it's just been overkill, and it's too expensive. Even at, even if I paid $100 per pair, that's, I mean, I've, I'm putting over $1,500 you know, $1, into my collection so far at least, and I know it's been more, way more than that. So it's, it's, it's a really expensive model to keep buying, um, and they just throw out a ton of different colorways like it's nothing. So... Uh, regardless if I like it or not, I don't know if I'm going to be copying it just because I, I'm going to be trying to slow down here, knock on wood, because June is a killer month. And if I can cop a lot of the things that I want in June, uh, great. If not, then it's no worries. You know, there's a lot of stuff happening. In fact, next weekend, this weekend, there's a lot of nice releases, the Air Jordan 2s and whatever other uh, things that are happening. But next weekend is a major um, weekend with the what the KDs and, and um, I don't know, there's just a ton of stuff. The, um, Jordan a AJ6. Uh, cigar and champagnes and be careful on those by the way because there's a lot of fakes out there already make sure if you're looking at the aftermarket for those you get the receipts um air uh nike air phone posit pro matrix custom by smooth tip very very dope custom the matrix screen um i used to back in the day I, on my work computer i remember i had the matrix uh screen saver thing so it did the little number thing on the screen saver i was such a, such a nerd but very cool custom very nice concept and uh, we've seen the green and the black on those sneakers, obviously, obviously from the Paranormans and other things, but uh, those are done uh, very nice. Um, let's see here. We have a first look kind of at the uh, the Legend Blue, the AJ11 2014s um, on foot, also known as the Columbia Blues. I've brought you guys a lot of information about those in the past, um, no, you, knowing that there was going to be a Columbia Blue. Uh, and uh, they weren't going to be calling it Columbia Blue. It was going to actually be called Legend Blue. Then the upper was supposed to be leather, but the original images were mesh. And I was letting you guys know, don't worry about that. Uh, it is going to happen, and it is going to be leather. And so that is the case. Um, lots more to come on that, but I'm excited. It's getting me amped up and wanting to see what the released uh, sneaker is going to be uh, for those AJ11s. Um, also, 2015 news here. Uh, to start us off um, with the 2015 stuff, French Blue uh, AJ7s and also the Hair Air AJ7s are coming back in 2015. No surprise there. It is the 23-year anniversary of the AJ6 um, this year, and then next year will be the 23-year anniversary of the AJ7. So uh, it's going to be a lot of colorways. I'm guessing probably a dozen colorways of AJ7s, some old, some new. Definitely some uh, exciting stuff in the works for the Air Jordan 7 if you're a fan. I know Indeed will be happy or sad depending on, on if they butcher his favorite colorways or whatever it might be. But there's a lot of AJ7s in the works, just like we've seen a ton of AJ6s this year. Um, we got some uh, Throwback Thursday Episode 2 from uh, Kicks Reason, Reebok Pump, 
Central uh, Park. If you haven't seen that, check out those block tops right there. Those look pretty nice. Um, also in 2015, Columbia 4s are rumored to release. And if you guys have never seen those 4s, they, they came out, I think, in 99. And those in the Oreos, which I'll show you guys in a little bit down here, uh, or in the next page, um, are, are rumored to be coming back in 2015. Interesting release that they're coming back. Uh, it wasn't a super popular shoe when it did come out because it didn't have the uh, mesh sides as the normal four, so it kind of gave a hybrid look to it. But uh, it's now become like more or less a fan favorite for those OG heads that remember those kind of um, Columbia. So definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what the quality is of those when they uh, are coming out. It's supposedly rumored for again 2015. Um, LeBron 11, South Beaches, that's another one that's coming out, uh, I think, on the 14th or, or the week after. Um, there, Check out the article if you want to see. It actually, I know a lot of people are like, oh, South Beaches played out, but I think they look clean. And on top of it, they have the textured pattern on the, the blue posit material. And you can't really tell here. If you look at the article, you can see detailed um, inside of the article. I also like the fact that the, the back of the tongue is pink. The accents are pink. The crown is pink on the LJ logo on the tongue. I think it's a, a very well-crafted... Uh, LeBron 11, something that you couldn't necessarily have done on Nike ID, but some of those ones that we've seen on Nike ID um, look really, really fantastic. So if you're interested in those, I'm sure that there is going to be some hype behind them, but it, it's going to be mass produced. I doubt they're going to sell out. If they do sell out, it will be like the anthra Anthracite um, 11s that they'll sell out originally, and then they'll you know suddenly show up in every store around town. So. I wouldn't uh, sweat getting those. Also, the price point probably is, I don't know if it's 200 to 220 because of the lace lock. Uh, so I guess we'll uh, be looking forward to hearing about that more. Actually, I should just look it up and find out. But um, if you know, I guess leave a comment. But I, I'm assuming it's 220. Um, Air Jordan Future All Red Reflective Sample Image. Pretty cool looking futures with All Red. Gotta admit that, even with the easy hype, if you will, of the All Red. But I'm more interested in the shoes behind him, which are um, seamless AJ 10s, it looks like, in All Red Suede. Those look ridiculous. We need a seamless AJ 10 release. That would be ridiculous to see, finally. Uh, there's lots of uh, other ones out there, but no official ones that have ever hit the market, which would be awesome, as far as I remember. Um, AJ4 Oreo returning in 2015 uh, via the shoe game. Um, the homie from the shoe game was out in Oregon, and I didn't get a chance to link up um, with G-Rock, but, uh, but I'm assuming he got some inside scoops there, it looks like, because uh, those look like he, uh, I mean, he had them in hand, it looked like. So I, that's why I would definitely agree and say, yep, if, if he, they're saying it's happening, it's probably happening. Um, but those things are, are beautiful. Uh, I would prefer the uh, the Oreos over the Columbia's any day just because of the black and the gray. Uh, I think is an awesome combination. Um, moving on, we have some news here from uh, Kickstarter. Uh, New Balance Cone Mills a collaboration, it looks like there. And also uh, the Hirachi OG um, has landed in the U.S. if you want to check those out. Uh, Champ Sports has them um, available. Also, let's see here, Reebok Kamikaze 2. Uh, low release update from Kicks Reason. Kicks Reason also did a Jordan 23 or Aces 23 um, re video review on here. And if you want to check out his video, check that out. Uh, Reebok um, The Blast, and he has some updated information about those sneakers. If you're interested in those, worn by Nick Van Exel. Uh, if you guys don't remember him, um, I don't know. That's It was a long time ago. Uh, for, for some of you guys. Maybe, I mean, you guys are too young. I don't know. Reebok Instapump Fury. Um, Soulbox collaboration. Those look actually pretty nice as well. Kicks Reason wrote that article. The Nike B True Collection celebrates the pursuit of sports uh, for all athletes. And uh, it's for the, the LGBT, which stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered, transgendered um, people. And uh, I think it's a really cool thing that Nike did. There's actually a couple sneakers there. Uh, kind of has the what the sort of feel because they're kind of wild sneaker colors all around. But it's obviously rainbow inspired. Um, I actually went to the, the PDX uh, store at the factory store. So I should have a, um, a video from the factory store coming for you guys soon. Maybe Sunday or so. And uh, and these things uh, actually are pretty pretty crazy. Like it was nice to be able to see that um, Nike's donating $500,000 to the support of of that community. I think that's uh, really something. And um, I don't know. I just, I'll leave it at that. It's not a hyped release or anything like that, but it's something that you can buy if you have people in your family that are, or if you are yourself. I mean, it's, it's just something that's nice that uh, that big corporation is backing something like that. 
We get a look at two different um, Kobe 9 Elite lows with a Beethoven and Hyper Gray or Michael Jackson inspired colorways. Very crazy like ideas going on there. But if you guys want to see the detailed information, check out that article. It's worth it. Um, and uh, really cool to see some official releases of some Nike uh, Kobe 9 Elites uh, in the low model uh, hit in the U.S. So I'm really, really excited to uh, scoop up a pair of those. Uh, hopefully I can get at least one of them. Um, Foam Posit 1 Concord uh, release date has been uh, set. Check out the article and see when that release date is. I honestly don't remember what it was. But uh, the Concord Foam is kind of a hit and miss. Some people don't really love it. But we've seen the Foam Posit take on many shapes and, and forms now with the Yeezy Foam Posit. Not forms, I guess, just many different colorways. Like the Yeezy colorway and then now the Concord colorway. It makes me want to know and think of what's next. Obviously, we have a cement print one coming, like the pink. Uh, kind of crazy. Anyway... Uh, Asics Gel Light 3 Raspberry First Look. These look pretty nice, actually. It's not um, a uh, collaboration model or anything like that, but it kind of looks like the opposite of the uh, the Ronnie Fig Coves. Um, check out these Hyper Pink um, AJ14 images. I actually want to get these in, in dude sizes, even if this is a GS. The colorway looks insane. I, I have a feeling, though, that gray on the upper is actually gray. I was hoping that those would be black. If it was black tumbled on the side and then black... Uh, suede or something like that, or I mean, even just black tumbled on, on the toe box in the back tab area. Um, that that would be crazy with the pink accents. I really think those look nice. But uh, anyway, that's a GS model coming. Uh, Nike NBA has, or the NBA, not Nike, the NBA has a limited edition 68th anniversary. I don't know why 68 is such a pivotal number, but um, limited edition sneaker that's coming out. Very odd looking sneaker. The box looks pretty cool. I don't have a picture of it in the article, but I saw some online. Um, I don't know the release date. I know it's coming on Nike.com or Nike.com, NBA.com or something like that for the release. I don't know if it even happened already. It has no interest in myself to be picking them up, even if they're only limited to a thousand pairs. It does not matter to me because I just don't really like them. But another kind of USA-esque uh, inspired Sneaker, if you guys are interested. Um, I guess it's NBA colors, but still. Anyway, a detailed look at the uh, Air Jordan Future in the Wolf Gray colorway. And then also, Adidas introduced the Supernova Sequence Boost. Um, if you guys didn't see my uh, my unboxing video earlier today, check that out. Um, I did cop a pair of those in that actual colorway. So looking forward to doing a review of this uh, Boost technology, I got a couple different pairs that I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Adidas Boost and the Nike Lunar Lawn, and I'm really excited to do that as a Lunar Lawn fan from the beginning. Uh, um, it piques my interest to see something new that's kind of uh, similar. So definitely, definitely, um, I'm wearing the Boost now, uh, just walking around casually and everything else, and uh, just to see, um, you know, how they they stack up. Um, and so look for that video. I hopefully I'll get something up for you guys next week on that. Uh, Mark Dolce. Did, uh, did an interview with uh, Soul Collector, and I recommend you guys go to Soul Collector, um, and uh, you can check out their link from this article uh, of Mark Dolce, the designer of the Little Penny Posits, uh, and how he basically col um, collaborated two different sneakers into one. And, but instead of just doing a hybrid like the Half Sense were, it's kind of like their own, it's its own invention uh, with the inspirations of two different sneakers. Very cool, uh, in my opinion. I really do dig the Penny Posits. I think it's a, an awesome looking model. Um, Nike football kingdom pack and and by the way this weekend there's three different colorways of the penny posits dropping, uh, the pink pair and like a blue and black pair and I, I don't even know I think a white and gray pair or something like that. Um, I'm gonna try to get at least one of those ones possibly. Nike football kingdom pack dropped though for those wondering about those not really my cup of tea but it's out there if you're interested. Also uh, the signature Monday series from Kicks Reason. Blacktop Battleground 2. I always love his articles because I never know. I don't even remember that Reebok had that many different types of models. Um, it, it's it's crazy how many different types of pumps and everything they had. Um, also, he has a Air Force 180 retro review video. Uh, one of my favorite models, Nike Basketball. No hype that that on the release that dropped this year, which was a mistake. They should have really tried to promote it more, and it just dropped randomly in boutiques. And then, uh, then they sold out here and there. And I mean, I, I, I still wish I picked up this year's um, release. I did pick up the last um, retro uh, from eBay, if you guys don't remember last year. Uh, it's just an awesome, awesome shoe to me. Um, anyway, that, that's again, about, yeah, 91, 92 with Charles Barkley for sure. Uh, we get some OG colorways of the Air Max 93. Uh, coming this year, so be on the lookout for those if you guys are interested. I know some people might be, 
Um, Air, Air Max is kind of a big thing right now, at least the Air Max 90s. And the 93s are like the next best thing. Uh, that hasn't got a lot of hype lately. And the 95s, um, hopefully we'll see a, a flux in those in 2015. Because the 95s is really the heart and soul of, of the Air Max, in my opinion. Um, uh, Reebok Instapump uh, and uh, Social Status Collaboration, if you're curious on that. See that? 19 sneaker releases this week. So there was th there's that many that's happened this week. Obviously, the AJ2s. We have the Lance Mountain um, AJ1s with uh, the Nike SB collaboration. We had that pack that dropped today uh, with the, the white gold pack or whatever it was, or the gold pack from LeBron, KD, and Kobe, which I want every one of those sneakers, but it's just so damn expensive. Um, three colorways of the Penny Posit. There's so many. It is ridiculous. So it's a very expensive weekend for those wanting to cop everything uh, out there. But uh, June is no joke. Um, and then also the AJ6 OVO, OVO or uh, October's very own or whatever. These, uh, we saw some images of these, but I'm suggesting that these are fake. Um, I know it hit every blog saying, oh, and some of them were like, oh, we're they're releasing this year. Like, I looked into it, and um, they're not releasing. As far as I know, they're not releasing. In fact, uh, not, Jordan Brand didn't even mock them up. So uh, I'm calling them customs. Uh, those laces are the exact same laces that came off of the 7s and the 6 um, gold medal pack. I, it looks to me like they, they took a uh, – and I, I don't want to be mean or anything, but it looks like they took a, um, a replica possibly and then – uh, just made their own custom over top of it. I, I have no idea. I guess we'll see um, as you know the, the year unfolds. But I don't think I know that Drake, a Drake collaboration Jordan is not happening. Like a, an actual release. I mean a public release. Um, and I'm 99% sure that those are actually uh, fake. So leaving it at that. Also, we get a look at the AJ um, six in the black infrared colorway. Uh, the infrared doesn't pop as much as it does on the white one, and, and I was mentioning this before because it's on the black upper. It's pro I, I'm going to do a comparison video of them next to each other, hopefully when I get the black infrareds in hand, and, and I'm assuming it's the exact same infrared. Again, it's just uh, it just looks different because of the black upper, which I really like, and that's one of those sneakers that I really, really wanted that I have not gotten in my collection yet. So I'm looking forward to being able to cop those hopefully this year. Uh, lastly, there were some more images of the KD7s um, that are means. I guess they're set to release at the end of the month, which is insane considering uh, we just heard about them. And there's that USA colorway, similar to the LeBrons and the, the Kobe's and the USA colorway. So wrapping it up with that, the release date calendar needs to be updated. I apologize. This is not updated at all. I need to uh, talk to my web guy to get it set so I can actually start doing these again because I really want to get it set so we have something to look at. It even helps me for myself to reference the, the weeks coming up because there's so many damn releases. So uh, I will be working on, on trying to do that for you guys. Uh, and thank you guys for watching the video or listening to the video. I do appreciate the constant support that you guys um, lend. Even even it's like once every month that you guys watch a video or, or those diehard like fan people uh, friends that watched like every single day. I, I do appreciate uh, everything that you guys uh, do for me. It, it's nice to be able to talk casually and do a video like this and have you guys listen and, and, and I guess enjoy the content. And then that's uh, part of the reason why uh, I love doing it. So thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Good rest of the weekend. And uh, hopefully summer's starting off right for you guys. Later, guys. Peace.